So, this all seems horrible. I've seen worse. Sorry. No, we could use a little worse. Stark, we got him. Banner? Just like you said. Then tell him to suit up. I'm bringing the party to you. I, I don't see how that's a party. Dr. Banner. Now might be a really good time for you to get angry. That's my secret, Cat. I'm always angry. about the look of the Hulk. Mm -hmm. uh, how much was sort of based on the reference of Mark Ruffalo himself, and how much was referenced from, you know, Lou Ferrigno Hulk, maybe yeah. the other Ang Lee Hulk, the uh, Ed Norton Hulk, and, and how much was maybe you guys going back to the comic books and kind of taking stuff for reference? It, it was really a combination of, of all that. I think, um, you know, the initial designs uh, that Joss really drove this Hulk towards was incorporating Mark Ruffalo into it. And that, that means, like, right down to... Um, thinking about Hulk as kind of a digital prosthetic on top of Mark Ruffalo's uh, face. And I think taking that approach was great because for the first time for Hulk, you saw Banner in the Hulk character. And that helped us solve a lot of problems which are typically difficult in computer graphics in terms of uh, you know, getting the eyes right. You know, because his eyes were supposed to incorporate so much of Mark Ruffalo's, we always had a performance that they filmed with Mark Ruffalo, and we just kept looking back at that and like, do we have all the same components in our eyes um, that he had in his? And it's amazing how much how much subtlety there is to just the direction of the eyelashes as far as how that affects the look of the character. So, having Mark, you know, be such a great collaborator in this entire process, I think, made a big difference in the look. So, of the so it really, all came down to performance. You were really looking at what he did, his his movement of his eyes, and that kind of stuff to then put that into the character of the Hulk. Yeah, it, it was performance, but he went way beyond that in terms of um, you know, doing a life cast where we actually got his skin like pore texture. You know, and the Hulk's fingerprints are Mark's fingerprints, and we did a dental mold of his teeth and then uh, sort of hulked up, you know, those teeth to fit in there. So um, you know, th it takes a lot of as you're creating a character like this, um, th there's so many different variables um, to, to just keep going back to Mark Ruffalo's reference, I think, helped us get to a, a realistic looking Hulk a lot faster. Yeah, um, I heard one of the mandates from Joss was that he wanted this Hulk to kick ass. Yeah. So as a creator yourself, so do we. <laughs> and, well, when the director just kind of tells you that, I mean, of course you want him to be kick ass, but what did, what, how did working with Joss sort of help you to get that, that vision that he was going for? Well, it, you know, right from the beginning, he had all these great scenes in the movie where Th that's exactly what, like, once he became Hulk, he started smashing, you know, smashes Loki, punches Thor, jumps between buildings. And um, it was so fun to do those shots because we'd put them together and, you know, show it to Joss. Like, you know, you just get a great reaction out of the Hulk. Like, you know, catching Iron Man and, and like, ripping down the side of a building. Like, that's really iconic comic book moments. And I think Joss knew, you know, really what the fans were looking for, you know, from this go at the Hulk. And... It was great to be able to to be able to work on those. Is, is he showing you storyboards? Is he showing you like we, uh, we, even stuff from from some comics? Or, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Um, we had uh, previews, you know, that showed kind of roughly like what the action needed to be, um, and then when he came up here to talk to the animators about anger and about who who he wanted this uh, Hulk to be, he brought a lot of comic book reference and like here's great poses, you know, that I'm wanted to incorporate into it and. You know, it's we have to make it work within the larger motion of the shot, but you know there are definitely frames that you can pause on, and it's just like a comic book uh, pose that we were referencing. Can you talk about um, the discussion of green, how green to go with him, how sure. right? Because that was a, an issue. It's a it's a huge issue, and I think you know w one of the keys 
that made Avengers great is he's part of an ensemble. So he needs to sit um, with the Avengers while they're standing on the New York viaduct and not pop out. And so that kind of led us towards a, a more subdued, um, very desaturated green for the Hulk's color. And, uh, and it, it makes his skin feel like it's more natural kind of skin tones and helps him sit in the shots better. So we had a whole language around green. You know, every new environment we put him in, if he's up in the sky, all of a sudden he'd go very minty or down the ground he'd go kind of pumpkin-y. And so kind of had to find the right green every time. Interesting. Um, a lot of the reviews that came out cited the Hulk as being one of the best things about the movie, and a lot of fans really loved the Hulk in this film. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel as a creator yourself, that, to know that you know you had a part in one of people's favorite parts of this film? It's uh, you know it's it's really fantastic the audience reaction because there's so many people at ILM that are so passionate about this character, and you know just poured so much of their energy into making it the best that we possibly could. And you know it's it's really uh, gratifying to know that um, it it worked for the fans as well. Yeah. Last question. Sure. Um, working on the Hulk in the office, how many times on a daily basis <laughs> did you hear yourself going Hulk smash? Yeah, you, you throw up one every now and then. <laughs> we would always have the big foam hands, you know, around uh, when things were going so well. <laughs> yeah. So you can get your anger out with with the Hulk. That's right. Perfect. In a war. Environment. No surprises. Ow! Is everything a joke to you? Funny things are.